friends. So today we're gonna to talk about expectations. Not expectations with yourself, but actually in the field. Expectations with your clients, your buyers and your sellers, setting the expectations and what does that mean and how do you go about it and why do you wanna set the expectations for your buyers and sellers and for this particular video, real estate. So I'm gonna hop right into it. Why do you wanna set the expectation for your buyers and sellers about how the tra transaction is going to transpire through escrow, inspections, contingencies, and in our point of view, in our experience, setting that expectation up front is so imperative and so pivotal to getting all the pieces to come together to close in a timely manner. And I feel most people, that's where the problem comes into. Uh, for example, I'll, I'll, I'll use a buyer for example. You go show property, you meet your buyer. Uh, let's say you came from online, so you're, you're extra out trying to just get their uh, rapport going. You're, you're, you're kind of skipping over a lot because you're just trying to create that connection with them. So happens they like the property that they, they, they walked into, they want to write an offer. You're just so excited, you're like, oh my God, write an offer, this happened so quickly. You write the offer, you get into escrow, and next thing you know, they want $15,000 credit, or they don't want to release contingencies, or they find a thousand different things that are causing this, uh, list, this re request for repairs to just look like paragraph after paragraph. And you're already in escrow and you're already thinking, okay, I have to get through this. I gotta, I gotta navigate through this because still you want this to close whether, whether there's a problem or not. Um, so setting that expectation up front. Uh, I understand the buyer wants to put in an offer today and Mr. Buyer, let's definitely write the offer tonight. Um, let's go at the price you're looking for. Is there a good time that we can sit down and put this offer together and then say, hey, so these are some expectations that we wanna do going forward. Uh, inspection 17 days we want to get them scheduled is there anything that i should know moving forward about how you want to negotiate um are you looking to get money back on repairs are you looking to just get in the property what is your motivation so you can kind of understand what their motive is what they're trying to do some people just want to buy a home they just want to get in they have a wife and kids and uh, they're looking for the right opportunity. And then there's some people that just want a deal. They want to come in and they want to hassle and hag and they want to cut and swipe. And if you don't know that, going into the transaction, you're just setting yourself up for failure. And this also goes for sellers. When you're in front of Mr. Seller and you're going over a, a listing presentation and they're about to sign the contract to get their home sold, you need to have that expectation conversation about exactly what your expectations are and exactly what their expectations are. What are they looking for you to do as a listing agent? How often do they want to be communicated with? How do they want to be communicated with? Showings, lock boxes, all these things. And then the most, part, most important part, when we go to escrow, hey, what are you guys willing to do? This home needs a little bit of work. You know, before we even get into escrow and somebody says they want to come in with, you know, a credit, are you prepared for that to happen? Do we want to get a pre-inspection before we even list the property? These types of things that we're doing, we're creating the expectation so at the end of the day, we can control the, con the transaction because that's what we're hired to do, facilitate the transaction and get it to close. And if we're not preparing ourselves and we're not setting the expectations, we're setting ourselves up for failure. Uh, I know this is quick because I'm very, very opinionated on this and a lot of passion comes in on setting the expectations with our clients and there's a reason why we do what we do because our clients trust us because we're clear and transparent with them through the whole process. But in the field, you can't control the other side of the transaction if you have the listing. So going out there, just remember, control the narrative, set the expectations, get the home closed, have their best interest. And at the end of the day, we all walk away happy. Guys, I hope you like this video. I hope it rings some bells in your head about different things that you can do. Again, thank you for watching. If you guys wanna leave some comments, leave some comments below. Like, share, I do appreciate it all. And if you guys have any ideas of future segments, just comment below. Cheers.